So, uh, I came to St. Anne's in 1996 as a Salem church last weekend. It was on uh, February 16th. It was a snow day, like this past February 16th. But it was a great day. The experience was hermosa. When I came here, there was nevo igual que el sábado pasado. And uh, we used to be in a little tent as church in Smithfield, 7th Street. And that was one of the most uh, amazing experiences I have that I would like to share with you. I come from a Catholic country, almost by then was 98% Catholics. So wherever I went, it was Catholic Church. So when I arrived the next day, I asked Father Paul Brandt, yeah, I can visit the town. Father Pablo me dijo, si, sí, puedes ir a visitar la ciudad, no ningún problema. And I, I was visiting the town, I just walked to my right, in Market Street. Cuando fui a la derecha en la Market Street, llegué cerca del puente y vi un edificio bonito. It was a beautiful building, it looked like a church with a stained glass windows and everything. In 1996, you are able to walk into the church, no problem. The churches were open. So I walk into the church and I look, look like a little bit different. I was looking for the, you know, red light for the Blessed Sacrament and I could not find it. And I said to myself, well, Americans are different. Maybe they have something else present here. And I was looking for the kneelers. So I can just reflect and kneel and pray. I cannot find a kneeler. And I said, well, Americans are different, so they must have so humble they kneel on the floor. So I did that, and I prayed. And I went back into St. Anne's. And Padre Pablo said to me, what do you mean? I said, Padre, I went to the other parish, close to the river. He looked at me and said, another parish, close to the river? We are the only Catholic church in the whole county. You must went to the Methodist church. And I looked at him and said, Padre, can you hear my confession? <laughs> Since then I left. I went to St. Mary's in Wilmington. And then and I went to make a long story. Uh, His Excellency called me before his trip to Rome. It's a true story. And offered me the possibility to come to St. Anne's. And I said to the bishop, I would like to pray on it. He said, you have time to pray. And he called me later on, kind of 20 minutes later or so, and I said, now you can give me the answer. <laughs> so I decided uh, I'd take the possibility to come to St. Anne's. So when I came here 2012 in July, it was my first time after so many years walking to the new church. And it was unbelievable how many changes were made. And I'm saying so how big it is. It was algo increíble ver que después del 96 al 2013 la iglesia cambió demasiado, era muy grande. Pero al mismo tiempo, muy sola, porque solamente celebramos mis y vamos a la casa. Y nuestra cultura como hispanos nos gusta la fiesta, los festejos, y no tenemos un lugar. Entonces la intención de esta campaña, nuestros sueños, es que podamos construir un salón parroquial un poquito más grande que esto. Tal vez una diez veces más grande que esto, para que podamos ingresar y todos podamos celebrar con gusto nuestra cultura, nuestra tradición, pero sobre todo nuestra fe. I know that it is our dream to build a Paris Center where we can have a bigger space that we all can come to celebrate and to learn so our children can be educated and we can celebrate our faith. After we come to celebrate Mass, we can enjoy and build community. So that is our dream, to have a Paris Center. So this time we invite Mr. Uh, Dean Penny to come forward to give a little explanation about the meaning of our dream campaign. Uh, Senor Penny will explain a little bit about what we to construct. But before we do that, we 